everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I've got a altered file folder folio to share with you. This is a project that <clears throat> I am sharing on my Patreon channel. We're going to go um, through how to construct the base of this. Um, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. This is going to be for sale in my shop. This is also a design team project for my porch prints using botanical wildflowers and among the flower among the wildflowers kits. I'll put those kits in the description box below. You're probably already familiar with these. I've used them in the past and I know a lot of other ladies are using them because they are gorgeous. So let's just get started. Um, I've got on the front here, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of layering. This was some really interesting paper I was gifted several years back from a friend, a crafting friend. And I don't know where she got it from, but it's a paper with like a um, a gauze. So it, it's just beautiful. The, the It's a purple and ran across it in my texture drawer um, as I was pulling things out and I thought, oh, I've totally forgotten I even had that. So I put that on the cover there. And then this is a gift from my sweet friend uh, Angie. You know her as the Mountain Girl Studio. Angie was so sweet to send me some words that she had uh, printed out for me because she knows I'm <laughs> very technical, technical technologically challenged and and obviously I've got a speech impediment as well. Um, I'm struggling with the words today for some reason. So she was so kind to do some words for me and um, so I'm going to share Angie's shop in the description box below because she's got some beautiful things within her shop. You probably are familiar with her. She's got a YouTube channel as well so do check her out. Thank you Angie. That was really kind of you. And thank you, Stephanie, for uh, your patience with me uh, getting these uh, projects out. It's been some time since I've done a design team project, but she's Stephanie's always so kind and understanding about uh, life. <laughs> so up here I've got this little bulb pin with a little tiny heart charm, a little tag, and a, a bit of um, some heart trim there. So this flips over and I've got a little note that I've uh, sized down here so that you could do some writing there. And then this is a tag. Just a large tag there that I've got tucked into this pocket. And although this does not have a journal, uh, guys, it's got a lot of little places for you to write on. Uh, these images are from Stacy's Seaside Studio. I'll put Stacy's link in the um, description box as well because she gifted me these and they just went beautifully with this. So I want to share her shop and you guys can go check out what she's got to offer. Belly, a uh, little tuck spot here and just another card that I've made with scraps that were left over and so this flips over we've got a nice writing space here and that's why I said I've tried to incorporate a lot of places that you could write and there's still a pocket here as well as on the back that you could tuck something in but I will warn you this one is very chunky as it is so you might struggle to get anything very thick in there Another journal card, and again, this is from Tracy's Seaside Studio. Everything else is um, part of Stephanie's kit. A couple of little journal cards here. I mean, it's, it is packed with tags and journaling cards. Another little tag that's tucked into that pocket. So 
So it's, it's a rainy, cool day here in the UK today. Um, we're getting quite a bit of rain, but I don't mind it. Uh, as long as it doesn't last too long, I'm okay. This is a, this was a freebie from Nick the Booksmith, and then I've just taken some modeling paste and stenciled that on there. And a couple more tags here, and a journal card. And these are vellum pockets. So this now flips over, and here we've got another large journaling tag. And another. This is two pockets here with a couple of journal <coughs> cards tucked in there. This flips over. Another journal card there, and then this flips down, so you've got additional writing space here, and then I've put this large coin envelope. There's nothing in it, but you could add quite a lot in there. This flips over, and we've got a little slide, and then just this little embossed tag, and that's in a vellum pocket. This flips over and you've got two more pockets here with a couple of tags that I've made. Another large journal card. This is also from Stephanie's shop. You can find those. Those are her miss, uh, Milk Thistle Faux Stamps set. Got this large journal card here, and that tucks in, and then this flips over, and you've got. Sorry, guys, I didn't know that was out of frame. Two more tags here. This is one of the wage envelopes with a tiny tag tucked in there, and another journal card that's been placed in that pocket. And then here I've got a long, I love how this tag came out, and I've backed that so you've got writing space there, and isn't that beautiful? And that tucks into this, um, this was a paper bag I purchased a long time ago, so this flips up. And then as you can see, you've also got all this writing space. So on the back here, we've got another uh, stenciled tag and then another handmade journal card. And I love that. More writing space. And then now to the back, I've got a window envelope. There's going to be a tag in that. I keep forgetting that. Um, but I will add a, a tag in that before this goes out. More writing space here, stamped. I thought this was a great place to do writing or add, <coughs> excuse me, a photo. And then here we've got another pocket with a journal card and a tag from the kit. This is from the kit. Beautiful. And then I've got this large journal card here that I've backed with some lined paper. Another pocket here. There's nothing in there but um, some extra rooms so you can add some things to it. And then this is another writing area, front and back. Writing here and then this flips, let me pull it down so you can see, this flips all the way out, and my thinking on this was you could have writing, you could put uh, three good size photos on top of that. And then this I have left 
because I love this image. I just I didn't want to cover it up, so I've left that. Um, it, you could add more pockets if you felt the need, but like I said, I was getting concerned that it was getting so chunky. This project has taken me ages to do. It's a very easy project to do, but it was um, it's all the embellishing and creating for it. It just uh, keeps growing and growing, and I, at some point I thought, I've got to stop. <laughs> So there we have it. I've just had this beautiful sari um, silk to close it with. And I will, um, you know, just have that tied around there. <clears throat> so this is in my shop for sale if, if you are interested in this. And as I said, there's, um, you've got a pocket here and a large pocket here as well, but I have not put anything in them because it's so chunky. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, how that ended up coming out. I'm super happy with it, and that's going to be in my shop if you're interested in it. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope that you're well and uh, taking care, and I'll be back very soon. Bye-bye.